Hey. Oh dear me. Did everybody else have trouble getting here? Yeah. yeah. I think that Bianca might have done because I had the same thing. Somebody fell under the train on the way here. Oh, I consider it bugging. Uh, no, it, it fell under. Apparently, the drivers get a week off when that happens to get over the trauma. Now, I would have thought it'd be more traumatic to be under the train than driving it. <laughs> and what you know, what really gets me about that is it sends the wrong message. I think, doesn't it? I mean, would your boss ever call you in and say, "Well done with the killing and maiming. Have a week off." Yeah. <laughs> It's not so good, really. Is it? I mean, if I was a train driver, I'd be driving into the station at ramming speed, you know, with the, with, with the travel agent on speed dial. It'd be like, brilliant, winter sun, excellent. Yeah. But uh, I haven't got that far, I only came from Romford. It's not far away, but it took me an hour to go. Anybody been to Romford? Anybody in Romford? Yeah, yeah. it's rough, isn't it? <laughs> rough as your nan in a caravan. It's absolutely awful. It's kind of place where it's easier to get a tattoo than it is to get fresh fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not Hackney, for example. I mean, we have a better class of stabbing in Romford. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's rough, it's rough. And to be fair, the people in Romford, they got quite upset recently when there was a, um, a prison being opened down the road in Dagenham. And they, they, they had a big campaign to stop it, say no to Dagenham prison. And they thought, you know, they're cutting their noses off to spite their face, really. Because you know, a prison in Dagenham would make it so much easier to visit their friends and relatives. <laughs> you know. But there we are, yeah. So I'm a new comedian, and um, I'm still sort of working out how it all works. Um, you know, like how to dress, for example. Um, you'd be forgiven for thinking big girl's blouse at this moment. Uh, it does button from left to right, by the way. Uh, yeah, so I've been advised I should try the, uh, the suit, jacket and jeans look. Uh, I don't think so. Because, um, I mean, we're only in a dingy basement, right? Tonight. No offence to the people behind the bar, it's a lovely basement, it's a lovely basement, not dingy at all. Dingy though, isn't it? Blimey. Why is comedy always in the basement? Always in the basement, next to the storeroom and the gents, and the room where they keep the gimp. You know, I don't know what goes on with that. But anyway, it's always in the basement. But have been advised to try the suit, jacket and jeans lock. Is anybody rocking the suit, jacket and jeans combo tonight? Yay, that man there, yeah, so everybody can see what it looks like. I think it's the 21st century equivalent of the mullet, or something. <laughs> you know how in the 80s the mullet was kind of like, you know, business in front, party behind? <laughs> well, it's kind of like jacket and jeans is kind of like business up top, party in my trousers, you know. <laughs> Except it isn't. It's just kind of middle-aged, really. Or on him, it's kind of young fogey, I suppose. Uh, on me, it'd be middle-aged. Um, yeah, so jacket and jeans, no, that's a no for me. Um, yeah, I, I sometimes do uh, some Mills and Boone material, um, and I'm going to have to give that a miss tonight. Not because he's not funny, I mean, you know, Mills and Boone pretty much writes itself. Uh, especially when you understand that Mills and Boone has a paranormal section. Um, Mills and Boone paranormal, it's for the lady who has naughty fantasies about unicorns and hobbits and and, you know, that fella there with a the very mystical facial hair, you know. Um, come into the bedroom, baby, and bring the wizard's hat, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, I'm not doing that tonight because it gets me in trouble. Uh, the last week I, was, I did it, I was at a gig, and um, I got talking to this woman afterwards uh, about the Mills and Boone stuff, and she said, well, of course, you do know that, that ladies like to be overpowered, but not in too forceful a way. And, and I said, and, and I know now, of course, I know now it was wrong, um, but it just kind of slipped out. I said, so basically you're saying you just want your hair pulled, don't you? <laughs> and she said, and she gave off first, she gave me a frankly very coquettish look, I'll be honest. And then she said, I do, but not too hard. And I thought, I really shouldn't be having this conversation with my brother's missus, should I? <laughs> and it was at that point that he punched me very hard in the head. But I'm from Romford, so, so I'm used to it. Um, yeah, so Romford again. Uh, a very strange thing happened to me the other day, actually. I was at the lights and a, and a car pulled up. And two people in the car and the person in the passenger side window just held up a sign and it said, handwritten sign, it said, eat my poo. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Totally true as well, because I've got no punchline to that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to work on that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. The trouble with Romford is it's in the East End. Well, it's not East End, it's East London, Essex way, and it does mean that there's a terrible accent. And my little girl is just developing this really strong accent, which I don't like at all. She has terrible trouble 
with their diphthongs. She pronounces it diphthongs. And she's swearing as well, oh my god, she swears. Fuck me, she says, fuck me. I had to take it to one side and I said to her, look, darling, I don't care what your friends say. In this house, it's fuck me with a U. <laughs> Thank you, good night. Adrian Trenholm, everyone. Give a round of applause. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you look. I'm just thinking Buddy Holly and Acid myself. Um, <laughs> do you ever have anyone here who used to play computer games? Or still does? Yes. Okay, do you remember PS2, right? We played PS2, right? The game called Time Crisis. Do you remember Time Crisis? He's like one of the guys in the lobby. You shoot. Right? <laughs> right? Don't forget. Don't forget. Just check it out. Boom.